Hey guys, it's Will here from iCotton Homes. I just wanted to come to you this afternoon and give you a little bit of a tip on your spring maintenance of your home. Uh, it's that time of the year again. We just had our daylight savings time last night. So I hope everybody uh, remembered to set all the clocks in their house up an hour. Um, but also this time of the year, it's also a, it's a great time to inspect all of your smoke detectors in your home. Uh, most people have hardwired smoke detectors that have a nine volt battery in them. It's a great time now and then again in the fall when we change time to go ahead and swap those batteries out. And also go through and there's a button on the detector that you can push to test them. Uh, that's a very good time of the year to go ahead and do that just to ensure the safety of your home. And also if you have a certified alarm or some other professionally installed um, security system that also has smoke, you may not actually have a button to test. So disregard that if you have that. Uh, carbon monoxide detectors are the same way. Uh, some of those detectors are doubled. Uh, typically if you have gas in your home anywhere, one of those detectors is going to also have CO detection on that. So just be aware of that one. Um, also, as you are very aware, we've had a ton of rain. Uh, it's a good time of the year to go ahead and just inspect your gutters on the outside of your home. Uh, just make sure all the downspouts are cleaned out. And then also make sure that the pop-up drains in your yard that come off your gutters are free of debris and are actually able to flow. Uh, a good way to test that is either with a water hose or just wait till it rains again and just watch your gutters and, and make sure they're not overflowing off your house and just look for that pop-up in the yard to be flowing water. Um, also, it's a good time. We've had a lot of big storms recently to just do a visual check of your, of your house of, of, for the roof. So make sure those shingles are blown loose, that you're not missing any. Um, you can either get a ladder and get on your roof and look if it's not too steep. Another great way to do this, if you or your neighbor or friend or family has a drone, it's a great way to just fly around your roof and just look for any damage that may be, may be there. Another big one, um, your dryer vent. Guys, it's, it's very important that you keep your dryer vents clean. Um, obviously on the dryer itself there's a canister that you can look to make sure you can clean the lint out of that. It's also important to go on the outside of your home and look at the, the cover uh, where that actually leaves your home. Um, just look at that and, and sometimes you can take the cover off and you can either run a shop back in there or a little brush and get all that lint out and just make sure that's as clean as it can be. Um, also guys, you should be in maintaining your air conditioner system. So uh, we recommend every month changing your air filter. Uh, there's a, it's an easy thing to do. You just get the size off the, off the filter. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, what I do personally, I use uh, filtereasy.com. It just comes to my house every month and I just replace it. That way I don't have to remember to actually go buy one. It just shows up at my house. That's key to the longevity of your HVAC system and it also it's more efficient, so if it's not sucking for air, if it, if it has plenty of air coming to the unit, it's going to be better for it. Um, and also with your HVAC, once a year or every two years, you need to get an HVAC company out to maintain your system. They can check the coals, make sure they're not too dirty, they check all the levels, um, and just do a good maintenance check on your unit. Um, along with that is also your hot water heater. You guys that have tankless hot water heaters, don't forget those things are supposed to be maintenance once a year. Uh, they need to be flushed out. Uh, any buildup inside the heat exchanger needs to be washed out of those units uh, to, long, to just to ensure the longevity of them. Uh, those, those units are expensive. You don't want to have to replace them, so maintenance is key to those. Um, another big thing, um, we're coming into spring, so our shrubs are all about to be growing again. Uh, go around your home and look for any bushes or trees that would be touching the exterior of your home. If you see any, it's a good time, of the, good time to go ahead and, and trim those back to make sure they don't scratch your siding uh, or cause any mold growth or mildew growth on the side of your home. Um, but guys, again, if you, uh, oh, another thing too, your septic tanks. I've already had some questions from some customers that have septic tanks. We've had a ton of rain. And just know that septic tanks have a hard time operating when the ground is just totally saturated like it is right now. Um, if you are having that problem, uh, it would be a good time to go ahead and get your system pumped, get the tank pumped, um, and, and let a professional come out and inspect your septic tank. Um, anyway, guys, if you have any trouble with this, you feel free to send us a message. 
Uh, you can email us, you can send us a message on Facebook or Instagram. I'll be glad to answer those. Um, also, there is a link in this video down below that you can go to our website and print off an actual maintenance check sheet to your home. Um, it's easy just to have that in hand. You can check them off and go um, as, you're, as you're going through your home. Um, again, guys, if you have any questions, let us know. And hope you guys have a good day.